Today I'm just going to be showing how to do a very simple setup for a render in Creo. This is Creo 2. Uh, you might also know it as Pro Engineer. So we have this model of a guitar. I didn't draw this model, I just downloaded it online. Um, we go into the render tab here on the top and always when you're rendering stuff, well generally anyway, switch on perspective. It'll just help make things look more realistic. So I'll just orientate this whatever way I see appropriate for the moment. And uh, so the first thing you have to do is just set up the scene. Um, I recommend, for the moment, I'm just going to use one of the, the inbuilt scenes. I'm just going to start by selecting this room here. Uh, you can add lights to this, uh, so you can add a spotlight. So just zoom out and then just move the spotlight around if you think that it needs more lighting from a particular direction. Then we're looking back at the model here. So I'll just go into the effects tab then and there's a feature here which I don't think was available back in the Pro Engineer days but it's available now in Creo so that's enabling depth of field and that's just a feature so you can do this grid that you can move uh, like on a plane through the object and wherever this grid intersects would be the point w which is in most in focus and everything beyond that both forwards and backwards of that datum plane will become blurred and this is to simulate what what's that, what would actually be seen in a camera um, because a camera focuses on a particular plane and then everything else eventually gets more and more blurred out the further away from that plane you go. Um, so I'm just going to bump down the effect of the blur because Creo has a habit of exaggerating it quite a lot. So I'll just accept that. Um, go into render setup and when you're rendering generally always have it on high so accept that and uh, I'm just going to render the window. Okay, so immediately there is a problem. This is way too bright. So I have to go in and change the scene again. Part of the problem could be that extra spotlight that I added. So I'm just going to delete that and try rendering the window again. Okay, so this render now looks a lot better than what I had previously there. We don't have the bright light shining on the surface. Um, what I actually did to achieve this was I changed the scene once more. So I picked uh, this, this one down here and it just produced a much nicer shaded scene. Um, and if you go back to the video there, you'll be able to see that this area, which is further away from the focal plane, um, was more and more blurred the further back it went. Now to save this as a JPEG file we go back into render setup and under output change the output from render to full window to render to either JPEG or PNG or whatever kind of format you want to use. So we'll just say JPEG and again just put in the file name there click close and this time when you hit render it'll just save to that file. Okay, thank you.